One thing I love about the Ram trucks, diesel preheat. If you don't know, these trucks have grid heaters. They don't have glow plugs. It starts right up. I mean, it's not that cold outside. It's only like 37 degrees, but it was like 17 this morning. Back in 2019, Ram shook up the truck market. It started back in 2018 with the half tons. And then they unveiled this beast known as what I call the four and a half gen Ram. But we'll get back there in a second. To this day, I still think that Ram has one of the nicest, luxurious pickups on the market. That's after GMC refreshed their trucks and after Ford redesigned theirs. And keep in mind, this isn't even a true redesign. This is basically like a refreshed refresh. So when you look at the front end of this truck, and let's just pretend it's 2019, because this truck hasn't changed much since then. This is what you got. So from the front fascia, they redesigned this truck. They also gave it an aluminum hood, which helped save a little bit of weight. The Hemi got the 8-speed transmission known as the 8HP75, and both Cummins diesels got horsepower and torque increases. Also, they added some aluminum to this to make it lighter. They also did some updates to the frame and the suspension to make it lighter. But when you look at the cabs of the crew cab and mega cab pickups, and the regular cab, I guess, there's no differences in these cabs. Also, the beds are pretty much unchanged. The only thing they changed from the 2018 model year were the fender flares, front and rear, the taillights, tailgate, and rear bumper were redesigned. And most importantly, this truck got a brand new interior, which was pretty much borrowed from the half ton segment. This is probably the biggest reason why I think Ram shook up the market, is this interior. Because I've always felt Ram trucks had great interiors, even back in 2015. I thought that they were pretty much up there. But this really did change the game. And the biggest thing is that 12 inch display. And this was genius, what Ram did, because they basically took an old truck and made it new again. Normally people start from the ground up again and they didn't do that here. All they did was kind of put lipstick on a pig, but this is a really pretty pig. And if we were to compare the framing on these trucks to like the 2018 models, they'll pretty much be the same. The only thing is, is high strength steel, which I think took about 140 pounds or so off of this truck. So why is this a big deal? Well, for the last, I would say three years, Ram has pretty much been on top. But really for 2023, Ford and GM have pretty much caught up to Ram. And you're really starting to see that at Ram dealers because Ford's redesigned Super Duty and GM's refreshed HDs are really starting to make waves. And if you are a diehard Ram guy like me, I actually decided to jump ship because I didn't want the same truck. I was hoping from 2019 to maybe 2023, they would have at least done something extravagant like to make me want to test something out. Now they did introduce the Rebel, which was pretty cool. But, I mean, the truck has no payload, and that's always a problem for me. And even though right now I don't really need payload because I don't have my fifth wheel anymore, I still like the idea of having at least 2,500 pounds or more payload. Now, as I said in the title of this video, Ford kind of copied Ram with this half-gen truck. So, back in 2017, Ford did redesign the Super Duty, and it was a complete redesign. And back in 2020, they refreshed the truck. So they gave it a whole new front fascia. They updated a few things here and there. They gave it a new powertrain, gave it more horsepower and torque, all that good stuff. And for 2023, they just did a half gen. So they call it a redesign, but it's not truly a redesign. It's a half gen pickup because the cabs are the same, just like Ram did, and the bed is the same. And they just gave it a whole new interior. So. Here's why this is important. I think that when a new Ram truck comes out, they should really consider pricing. I don't think that these trucks should go any more expensive than they already are, but I feel like Ram kind of saved money with this half gen pickup because they didn't have to change much. So for the next generation of pickup, especially right now, a lot of people are complaining about pricing. Like, I don't even talk about pricing anymore because I'm just tired of talking about it. But every time I read the comments in my videos, 
people are just out of their minds just upset about pricing and this is on a redesigned Ford truck that I just did I did a video on a 2024 Super Duty and I was reading the comments and like so many people were like just appalled by the pricing and the truck I get it it was a lariat it didn't even have the ultimate package and it was like 88 grand it's a lot of money and if you were to get a limited I mean you're pretty much a hundred and two thousand dollars I mean this truck here this truck is a hundred and four Whoa, 105 grand. This is a three quarter ton truck. And I think this is the problem that people are having. If Ram is going to bring out a redesigned truck, new cabs, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of research and development from the half tons for the cabs. And if they do a whole new truck, I mean, they, they have to keep this pricing in line, guys. Like, I'm really looking forward to the day when Ram decides to unveil the HDs. We already saw the half tons. They look great. They have a new tungsten, which again, that's gonna probably be the way Ram gets more money out of us is by giving you a whole nother premium interior truck and then they can justify you know, charging another 10 grand more for it. I don't know. I'm not saying it's gonna be 10 grand more, but GMC did it. I mean, the Denali to the Denali Ultimate is like 10 grand, you know? It's probably $12,000 and there's not a lot of differences between the trucks, but they sell a lot of Ultimates. But I guess we have to wait and see how Ram responds because they have to do some type of redesign with this truck. Cabs, beds, all that good stuff. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I think that Ford did it the right way. See, they did a complete redesign back in 2017. And for 2023, they did a half-gen redesign. So their cabs and frames are within the last 10 years. I want to say Ram redesigned this truck back in 2000 and eight or 2009 and so they went basically a decade onto this truck now again they did do some updates to the frame like they went to high strength steel all that good stuff but the cab is very tight so i think that if ram does this again they should try to do it within a 10-year model year that way they can have a more refreshed truck compared to the other two but yeah let me know in the comment section do you agree with the half chain pickups i think they shouldn't do them personally i think that it was kind of cool because it gave them like some time in the interim to maybe develop a better truck. But it does show its age really quickly when you have owned them in the past.